Hi, my name is Boris Kodic and I teach the course Physical Aspects of Digital Security. The main premise of this course is that digital security is not entirely digital. Devices live in a physical world and this is mostly noticeable through noise, which is a nuisance, but on the other hand, noise can be a very good um, resource as well. So for instance, a random number generation. If you don't have access to the outside world, you're stuck with pseudo-randomness and to get true randomness, you really need some source of noise. Another um, instance where noise can be very useful is in protocols for key establishment. You can get key establishment from noisy channels. And the surprising fact is that this is possible even if you have Alice and Bob communicating over a noisy channel and Eve listening in on the channel and having less noise than Alice and Bob. In the course, we also cover physical and clonable functions. So this is a form of frozen noise where device properties are random due to some uncontrollable factors during manufacture. And puffs can be used for authentication, uh, anti-counterfeiting, and secure key storage. Another thing that we do in the course is we dive into quantum physics as a resource. With modern technology, you can do things with, for instance, single photons traveling over fibers. And the thing we cover is, on the one hand, how quantum physics can be used to our advantage to do cryptography, such as quantum key distribution, but on the other hand, also the threat posed by quantum computing. So what we do is we take the bare minimum of mathematics needed to actually understand qubits and operations on qubits, and we go into the algorithm run on a quantum computer necessary to break RSA.